In number 12, we're supposed to write a rule for the function represented by the graph. I think the, the best way to accomplish that task is to make a table of values, x, y, inputs and outputs. Our x values, we've got uh, 0, 1 as a point in the graph. So when x is 0, y is 1. Another point is 1, and it looks like we're halfway between 1 and 2, so that'd be 1 and a half. When I plug in 1, I get 1 and a half. Plug in 2, I get 2. Plug in 3, I get 2 and a half. Those are just the points on the graph. Now I look for a relationship. You always want to look for the easy ones first, like adding or subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Uh, 0 plus 1 is 1, but 1 plus 1 is not 1 and a half. So I can't just add. Unfortunately, I can't just multiply either. We have, now we have to look at our y values to look for a clue. We go up a half, up a half, up a half every time. So I, I like to think of emphasizing that word time, because every time we have to go up a half. So we need to times by a half is going to be a key part of our equation. So our output val variable, y, is going to be multiply by a half. We're going to have to take a half times x. But then we have to tweak it because half of 0 is not 1. Half of 0 is 0. We'd have to add 1 on top of it to get the 1. Let's check and make sure it works in the other spots. Half of 1, so 0.5 times 1, well, that's a half. Plus 1 gives me the 1 and a half. Half of 2, well, that's 1. Add the extra 1, we get the 2. And here's our going to be a rule that checks out. We're also supposed to find the domain and range. Domain is the set of all inputs, or x values in this case. We'd have 0, 1, 2, and 3. We don't say 0, 3 th through 3, because we don't hit the decimals between 0 and 3. Our range, we'd say, very specific, 1, 1 and a half, 2, and 2 and a half. 